I won't get any makeup on it. Uh, oh, but I was influenced by you on this makeup product. And that's it for five minute makeup for the day. This isn't, ooh. So we do have another Laura Piana item to open up in this video. Ooh, okay, so this is the bag I showed because True Stealth Wealth, who I have met and talked to and know, they don't dress anything like quite luxury. I said, what is in here? It's like a round shape. And I said, is it mince? Like, what is that? Hi, thanks so much for joining me for another vlog. And of course, we'll do some unboxing. You can see we have a few things to unbox here. But I did want to start off by saying thank you so much for all of your kind comments. My sister-in-law who pointed it out to me. So if you're watching, hello. She is actually, I think I say my family does watch my videos. She actually watches pretty much every video. And the last time I talked to her, she said to me, what nice viewers you have. She had read through the comments. And I said, yeah, they really are very kind, very sweet, very thoughtful. So I did wanna let you know that I recognize that I really appreciate it. Speaking of appreciating you, you actually influenced me quite a bit. I don't know if you realize, but a lot of these purchases I have here are because of your recommendations. So thank you so much for also influencing me. I love interacting with you. I think that this is one of the most well-versed audiences there is in terms of luxury beauty, luxury fashion. So I really do appreciate you taking the time to leave your recommendations for me. So starting off with, oh wait, before I say that, starting off with this lip color, because I will forget by the time I get to editing this. This is a Chanel lip color. It's in the shade, it's a Rouge Coco Balm in 914. And I think that there is a certain shade that went out of stock because I think Sophia Ritchie wore it for her wedding and then everyone wanted it, of course. This one is a little bit more of a beigey tone. It's got a little bit of warmth to it, but very neutral tones. It's really pretty. And again, this is in 914 Natural Charm, if you were wondering. So this is one of the items that one of you reached out to me and said, you might want to get this because it went with my Laura Piana bag and um, shoes. So we do have another Laura Piana item to open up in this video. I feel like we've had one per video almost, something like that. I've purchased quite a bit in the last few months, at least one a month. Um, so I don't know if that's gonna be a regular pace because <laughs> the price point on Laura Piana is one of the higher price points. But this one is something that you pointed out because I needed a belt to go with my bag and shoes that I wanted to kind of drape and use for shirt dresses. Oh, this is the Frank and Eileen dress that I have on now. And this one came from Vestair Collective. I had not ordered from them before, but I thought, let me just try it because this belt looked perfect for what I needed. It was the right, um, I wanted something kind of slouchy. That Max Mara belt didn't work for me. So one of you spotted this and let me know I should probably pick it up. So I ordered it. The process was quite smooth for me at least. Let me know if you've had experience on that site but I just purchased it, it was sent to authentication, and then it was sent to me. So it is this, this Lovey Buzz belt, and I'll show you later that it does almost match my bag. I mean, it's pretty close, it's close enough. So it's this, and I still have the tag on there because I wasn't sure, this is a size large, and I'm typically like a medium in the belt, or I think 85 centimeters on the Neely Loton. And it's kind of interesting because there's no buckle, but it goes like, this, and this is a previous season. I don't think it's available any longer. Actually, I know it's not because I looked. Um, and it goes through like this and that's how you secure it. But I wanted it to be like a drapey belt. So I'm gonna experiment with this because I think it's gonna be too big, but I think I can like wrap it around and compensate for the extra, like I'm thinking something like this, for the extra leather. Um, so I've been kind of thinking about like how could I not tie this but how can I like secure it so it makes sense and also does what I need it to do and I think the extra leather will help actually with the wear of this so I'm going to try this with my shirt dresses and see how it goes so thank you so much for the recommendation I was really excited to find this but yeah if you were looking for Laura Piana or any products that are pre-owned and that can go through an authentication process, Best Air Collective. I'm looking at a couple of other things. Another one of you let me know about an Hermes bag that I should pick up. I'll put a picture over here. And it looks perfect for me because I was looking at the Laura Piana bail bag, but then this Hermes bag actually looks better because it has the feet on the bottom. It, um, what else did I like about it? Oh yes, it's all leather because Laura Piana has some webbing on it. 
So I am looking at that, I'm considering that. So I might pick that up for Investor, maybe not today. But they also said that might be one that if you go into an Hermes shop, you should be able to access it or purchase it without being like a high demand bag. I'm not quite sure, I haven't tried yet, but I really like the look of it. Another item you influenced me on, and I actually opened it already because I couldn't wait to try it, but I put it back in the box for you, is the Color Science Total Protection Face Shield Bronze. I didn't know they had a bronze because I had to ask what exactly it was that um, you mentioned, and it's an SPF 50 in a bronze tone. So I've got, no, I don't have this on right now. I've been experimenting with this because you let me know that the even up, you, it's so light on my face, it looks like I'm wearing a mask, that this helps you get it back to that shade. Now I did try this, but I put on way, like way too much and it was about two shades, two to three shades deeper than my skin tone. That's how deep this bronze is. I was thinking about the other SPF products I have and there's a certain like shine. You let me know there's a shininess also in your experience with some of the SPF products I've been trying and I am finding the same thing. Like it's a little bit too shiny for me, a little too like, hydrating i think really great for dry skin types but i get more oily in the summer so i've got to kind of compensate for that but right now it's just like my skin gets kind of um oily so i went with this it's the face shield matte so it's a matte version of their spf spf 50 also and these are reef safe if you're wondering that's what the little sticker is there so that is the matte one so i was surprised it was had color i thought it was going to be like a i don't know not this color. This is the matte and this is the bronze. So you can see how much deeper the bronze is. It's on the cooler side of the side, end of the spectrum. So there's the matte and there's the bronze. So I've been trying it out and I put, like I said, I put way too much of the bronze on. Um, but this, actually I actually have it on my face now. I have that on and some concealer and very little makeup today. Um, just a little bit of blush and highlighter. But so far the matte, I think, Maybe that's what I need to be working with is a matte SPF. So we'll see how that goes. So thank you for the recommendation. I'm really excited. And I've found that the bronze works really well as like a bronzer and then to move it in towards the center of my face and then not apply it to the center because it's too deep for the center of my face. Um, like I said, it's about two to three shades deeper. That's how deep the bronze is. So the tone's a little bit cool for my skin tone. So you could see the matte has a little bit of a warmer tone, which is why I think that works really well with what I have on now. Then I have a PR package by Refer. I sent this and I have not opened this one. This is, what did they send? They sent two items here. Eyelash curlers, okay. So there are two of them. One's matte and one is glossy. And one is a 20R curvature and one is, an, one is an 18R curvature. So let's see, what does that, what is the difference? I feel like it's gonna be like the curvature of the um, eyelash curler. So we'll try these, of course. Okay, oh, I'm so glad that they marked them too. So this says 20R on it and then this says 18R. I also have to do my nails, I just realized. So we'll do that together later. Um, 20R and 18R. So this one's 18 and glossy and this is 20 and it's matte and you can see here oh yeah there's a big difference so for those of you who the curvature is too curved um this is the 20 and then this is the 18 so you can see there's a difference the 18 is more curved i can get a better view for you the 18 is more curved oh gosh this is not working this is the 20 and this is the 18 so you can see the 18 is more curved than the 20. right yes Oh yeah, so when I line them up like this, the 18 is clearly more curved than the 20. The 20 is flatter. So depending on your eye shape, this is really intelligent of them because I know some eyelash curlers don't work on certain people because of the shape of the eye. It's not as curved. It might be better for this eye than this eye because I always have a, an eyelash that likes to droop and this one might be good for that. So we'll see. It might be the shape of my eye that has been the issue. So thank you, Refer, for sending these over. Really good idea. So this one is from Reformation. I've been going down the Reformation rabbit hole. I mentioned a rabbit hole last time. This is a big rabbit hole with Reformation because I love their mason pant. And I thought maybe they were too short or they didn't look flattering, but the more I styled them, the more I got used to how they looked on me. I think it was, I had to get used to it because I was used to the really long pants that look really great, really great with heels. But from a practical sense, they look really lovely. The crop tones with 
um, not short shoes, flats. And I don't wear heels most of the time. I will wear heels when I need to, but I'm gonna say heels are probably like 10 to 15% of the time that I wear, um, not that I wear shoes, but 10 or 15% of the outfits that I wear. I mostly wear uh, flats. So I thought, let me go with something more practical, but I still liked the fit and the comfort and the flowy nature of that pant. And I thought, let me go with a cream version or oyster. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember what it's called, but let me show you what I picked up. So I picked these up and the shade is right here. So these have like a creamier tone to them also, kind of like the um, cocoon sweater by Jenny Kane. That one's I think called ivory, but it's very creamy. Like this is quite creamy, especially you can see compared to this. But I got some cropped pants in the cream color, ivory, nope, oyster. See, oyster to me should have some gray in it. That's why I'm throwing off, okay. But now I'm thinking I really do like the full length with heels. Not the full length, with the regular length. And now I'm thinking I'm gonna have to get this in black and oyster. Yeah, black and oyster full length at some point because it does look really lovely with heels and they're such an easy pant to wear, to wash. I just put them in the washer on gentle and then I cold and then I hang them dry and that's pretty much it. So I love the ease of the laundering and of the wear put together, but it's super comfortable. And I got these also in a size 10. And then I went and looked at some more reformation pieces and I found this skirt. So I saw Michelle's video on the cause brand. I don't have anything by that brand, but I'm glad she featured it because I had never considered that brand. I'd heard of it, but I'd never looked at it. And then they had this skirt. It was like a long white skirt, but I noticed it had an elastic band, which I think could end up looking a little bit bulky, bulky around the waistline. Um, but I really liked the idea. I think it had slits on the sides, really pretty skirt. But then Reformation also had a white skirt and I thought I like this one better because it's very clean um, on the top on the waistband and it has uh, applied. It has a zipper on it, so I'm gonna show it to you. So I picked this up, you can't really see it. It's white though. I mean, it's whiter than the uh, pants. So here are the pants and then here's the skirt so you can see the difference. Um, so this one, I got, oh sorry, the pants are in a 10 and then I also got the skirt in a 10 and you can see what the top looks like. It's very flat here. It's lined. I really like that it's cotton and it has pockets. I always love a good pocket and it's very long looking. So I'm excited for this one. It's called the Lucy skirt. So really excited for that. But we're going to go out to dinner. <laughs> Okay, tonight I feel like that's all we do. It is not the only thing that we do, but we do go out quite a bit. That's what we enjoy. We enjoy dining out with friends. So we're gonna do that tonight. And then we are going to do a Porsche event tomorrow. It's Porsche's 75th anniversary. We'll probably take the car and, not probably, we will take the car and go there and then I'll film anything that looks interesting and then we'll do some try-ons. really quick it's when I worked out this morning oh I did not jump in the pool but I didn't want to swim by myself gotta cut the tag out this does itch right here so I love you I, love you. I removed this on the other um, my outside version of the sweater I'll see if it's back in stock because I noticed it was pretty much sold out I have something else from Jenny Kane right there 
that I wanted to wait to open with you. I haven't opened it, I just like cut it open. The Cocoon Cardigan. Oh, it looks like they have restocked as of now, so um, maybe I'll post because I know some of you were looking for this. So I have no makeup on. I had a request for some quick five minute makeup. I will do a daytime and an evening version because it's different depending on of course, day or evening. So SPF is critical for daytime and I've been testing out this one. So I showed you, gosh, so I filmed this in chunks. I don't know how long ago that was, but I've been using this ever since. Sometimes I'll do like an adjustment on this by mixing it with bronze, but I want to show you this by itself because it's actually not that far off of my skin tone. It's a little bit lighter. I've been wearing it by itself. So we'll have coffee in the morning on the porch and I'll just put this on. And it has a warm tone to it, which I like. So the Even Up product is a cooler tone. It's so much lighter than my skin tone. You can see already how it does a nice job of just melding with the skin. Of course, we're gonna fix some things like in the forehead area, but I just put this, I'll do half just so you can see, but I will put this on really quickly, which is why I chose this for my five minute makeup. There's not that much correcting that needs to be done to meld with my skin. So you can see, of course, it's a little bit lighter, but pretty generous with this. By the way, we are doing some unboxing there. As you can see, really have been spending a lot more than normal, but that will taper off. I know there's this metal thing. You can go like this if you want to do some cooling, depuffing. It's quite cooling. I'll even go onto my eyelids with excess. Oh, and I bought some makeup here today. Oh yeah, and then my bag arrived, the one that I posted about on my um, community tab and a lot of you were interested in it. So we're gonna get to look at that and hopefully give you a little tour of it in case you were considering it. We have on plenty of SPF. I'm gonna go in with this SPF stick, trying to blur as much of these dark spots as possible using SPF products. So this is Salt and Stones Tinted SPF. It's not like the, um, if you tried the Sizzly one, which I love and I cannot find it anymore. Um, I think it's like on some obscure website or maybe on Selfridges. They had a sunscreen stick that I loved. It was kind of like a strange product, but I loved that. This is not the same intensity as that. And we've got this Ulla Henriksen. I always forget to wind it down and then this is what happens. I don't know if you can see, but it gets smash so that I just put on like that it doesn't look great and then I have to just use clean hands here and work that in so just make sure if you have this wind it all the way down or else you're gonna end up with this so what this does is it does some brightening for me it refracts the light so it's not like a complete concealer but what it does is it just brightens this area in a very natural kind of a way which is what I like for daytime and for like Real life makeup. Le Camouflage Stilo by Chantecai. This is in 4C. And then I've been using this also as like a, I'll show you, if you don't have severe dark spots, you could use this to cover them up. Very lightweight. Actually, this one looks really nice under powder because it's not like a thick, heavy duty kind of concealing. It's very lightweight. In a thinner consistency. It's not like the Clay de Peau. Clay de Peau is a very serious concealer. It looks very, to me, like French girl makeup. Easy to apply. It's quickly uh, spot conceal. So even though this looks good in person, I can see that it's showing the contrast on camera. So I'm gonna go in with the Clay de Peau in the corners, as always. This is my heavy duty concealer. Not that it's like super heavy, but it just, I'll show you if you've never seen it, does a nice job of concealing it's like an eraser just erases the dark spots but I wanted to show you the like camouflage stilo if you just want something lightweight perfect blur powder and buff and blur brush we're getting there so once we've got an even skin tone really quick dimensions I love the Victoria Beckham contour but that takes just a little bit of time. So this is really the fastest is a powder bronzer and this is the Serena bronzer by Chantecaille. And I have here a Fenty bronzer brush. Really fast, just sweep it on. So when I'm in a rush, this is what I do. Really quick bronzing. And remember we have no foundation on today. This is just SPF. I love this brush for getting into that hairline. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this bronzer and sweep it like this. 
I'm not gonna put any eyeshadow on today, but we do want a little dimension right up here. I mean, technically, I think this is taking me longer than five minutes just because I'm talking through everything. And of course, I want it to look nice on camera. I mean, in real life, I just like really quickly apply these things and it looks good enough. We're almost actually done, even though it doesn't look like it. We're gonna do brows next, and if I really run out of time, there are a couple of choices I can go in with a brow gel only, so let's do that first. Or another quick way, I'm gonna use this Gucci pencil um, by design because this is quicker than the Victoria Beckham because it's not as precise. So I use the spoolie to help with this process. So I'll just put the color down. And I've done this so many times that I don't have to think as hard as I probably used to about the shape. And then I go through the spoolie. So you can see the difference in the brows. You can either just do gel or do this, or in this case, let me even them out because now it looks strange. I'm fill in. Okay, and then I'm just gonna even this side out with some gel. Oh, this is a Dior Show on side brow. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try the uh, eyebrow pencil. I've gotta order that. Actually, I thought we could talk about these really quick because I used one the other day and it was really good. So then maybe just go in with an eyelash color. So this is a Refer 20 and this is the flatter of the two. So I just wanna show you really quick. That's how I, I don't really curl my lashes, but when I do, um, it's really fast. So I just pump like that. So you could do that and just have that as your Instead of mascara, just curl your lashes. So this is the 18 and it is definitely more curved. And the shapes of my eyes are different. <laughs> so this one does a good job of grabbing that one on the end that has a little bit of trouble. I have a couple of eyelashes over here that uh, do not usually like to go in the eyelash curler. They find a way to get out of the eyelash curler. So I'm able to grab them with this. Yeah, so you can just do that instead of a mascara. Of course, blush, there is this one. If you want more SPF on top of that, there's a Color Science 50 SPF, um, which is beautiful, but I'm gonna go in with this Valentino. This is really faster. Powder products are faster in terms of application. It just takes a little bit more um, time for me to get them in place, the cream products, even though I like them, especially in the summer. If I really run out of time, it's gonna be powder products. And then one more thing, we will add mascara just so you can see the difference, but I've got here this Chanel. I've been wearing it nonstop ever since I was reminded I had it. Um, it's one of the more neutral of the ones I have, 914. Oh, this is Valentino number nine, of course. Okay, and that's it for five minute makeup for the day. You could do that, but let's put on mascara. I'll show you the difference it makes on me. Although this is fine right here. Actually, I went out yesterday. We were pretty much out all day and I went like this. I didn't have mascara on and this was it. Okay, so let's go ahead with some mascara. Let's go in with the Milk. This one uh, dries out just slightly because usually a new mascara takes a moment to kind of adjust to its full potential. It has gotten better. Yeah, I feel like I need to give mascaras like a couple weeks of trial. I mean, I can get an impression, like that's really pretty right there. Um, I can get an impression pretty quick, uh, especially building up. Now building up is a little bit easier to see whether it will build up or not. This is more of like a fluttery lash, I think. I mean, maybe the curler helped a little bit here, but it's very nice. Yeah, very nice. Let me do my hair really quick and then We'll see how this all comes together. But yeah, I like this really fresh, like no makeup makeup. It really is very little makeup. Again, SPF, bronzer, blush, um, concealer, more SPF, more SPF. <laughs> Eyebrows, mascara, did I say bronzer? Bronzer and lip. Okay, let me just quick do my hair and then let's unbox. I was really good. I didn't open any of this before you. There was just one thing that's a little bit open because I had to try it on. But everything else I haven't seen yet. Okay, one thing I did is I added trench right on the bottom there. Victoria Beckham's eyeshadow, yeah, eyeshadow stick right under there and then in the corners. And then also, what did I do? Oh, I had a little contour on my nose area and the Victoria Beckham highlighter right on my nose and then Cupid's bow, that's it. But then I just, of course, went through with the Dyson Airwrap. I've heard to mention, I don't know if you noticed in the clip from the Porsche event that there was a yellow Porsche there. So if you see the Transformers movie, which we have not seen yet, there's a new character. I think Pete Davidson is voicing Mirage, maybe is the name of the character. The sound of that Porsche is that 
specific Porsche. So they used that car for the filming of that movie. So when you hear the sound of that car, the character, that exact car is what they used to produce the sound. So little fun fact there. That's why you saw a little bit of the movie production as well as the poster. Oh, let's open this first, it fell on the ground. This is from Jenny Kane and I think I'm almost done purchasing like pants and skirts because I feel like I have a lot of them. I'm still eyeing the two Reformation pants in black and in oyster or ivory, I can't remember what it's called, in the regular length because I have been wearing the black ones on repeat and then the ivory I still need to try on for you. I wash them. So I do a gentle um, cycle on those and then I just hang them to dry. That's why I love them so much. They're so easy to take care of. This is from Jenny Kane. I feel like I need tops. So I was looking at this and I thought, do I really need this? And I thought I liked everything about this. And one of you asked me about a t-shirt um, that I wear a lot and I've had it for years. I have a black and a white one, like the perfect t-shirt, but I can't find that exact one. It's by Vince, but I will see if I can find others for you and maybe order because I really love it so much. It makes everything look better and I had that for maybe four or five years and it wears really well. Um, but this is the Willow blouse that I've seen go by on Jenny Kane and you can see, yes, it is sheer. It looks like a cotton wall maybe, or maybe it's just like a basket weave, really thin kind of a cotton. So of course, you know, I've got the Intimacy Me, those silk camisoles that have come in really handy. So I actually ordered a couple more of the tap shorts and I have a couple of um, like skin toned, tanks that aren't silk. They're not very thick, but they're very smooth. I don't really like synthetic fabrics because I feel like they're a little uncomfortable, but these seemed really comfortable, so I can show them to you also. But this is the Jenny, Clay, Jenny Kane Willow blouse. It's got buttons down the front, unstructured kind of sleeve, short sleeves though. So I'm excited to try this with all of the other products. It looks kind of big. I got medium. So again, they run a little bit larger, but I like the loose fit of this. So I thought it'd be a great top. So I feel like I'm lacking in the, the tops area. So I'll try this on for you. Actually, let me try it on now. I don't want to get any makeup on it. Uh, oh, yes, that's good. I like that. It's so easy breezy, which is what I liked about it. Definitely an effortless kind of top. That is cute. It does seem a little roomy, but mm, maybe a small would have been better. Well, we'll see it full length when I try some things on um, because I don't think I've, no, I haven't filmed any try-ons yet. Okay, actually I have makeup here too, which I haven't purchased in a while, but I was influenced by you on this makeup product. So let me talk about that in a second. Let's do this one. So this of course is from Portia and I picked this because it's like the same color as the car. If you saw our video, we went shopping for my husband's dream car. I thought this, and I don't purchase Porsche gear. I just don't, it's not something I wear, but I thought this was really nice and it matched the car as much as possible. So it's like that chalk color. So this is new. I think I found it on a couple sites. Let me see if I can locate it for you, but this is from the dealerships store. So it's this um, grayish tone, which is really pretty and that it has, it's reversible. So it's got this, like tan, like a warm tan stripe down the back. It's got the Porsche emblem there. And then it has gold zips, which I like. It's like almost a rose gold maybe, this color. It's reversible. You can see this, it looks like little spaceships, but it's to emulate this pattern right here, part of their uh, upholstery. So there's a little scarf that goes with it. Oh, at first I thought it was a glass cleaner. I don't think this is silk. What is this made out of? It doesn't say. But it's got this scarf. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with this. I thought, yeah, I thought it was made a glass cleaner. I said, what is in here? It's like a round shape. And I said, is it mince? Like, what is that? And so then we took it out and looked because this is new to them also. Oh yeah, and each of the snaps has the Porsche the Porsche emblem. So if you're a Porsche fan and you don't love all of the Porsche gear, which like I said, I don't love it. Um, it's a little too sporty, but this is like sporty, but in a very classic kind of way. Um, but it comes with this wallet, I wanna say. It says heritage icons of cool. So you can wear it this side out. And if you do, it has Porsche here. I forgot to say why I got this. So we go on a lot of um, Porsche events, like rallies and driving to the mountains. So it does get cooler there. So when someone asks what we do for fun, it's eating out. We love fine dining. It doesn't always have to be fine dining, but like 
good, really good food and uh, travel and then also anything with the Porsche experience, whether it's a rally or something um, where we get to meet people. Oh yeah, I wanted to say, um, so one thing that we realized that this car has allowed us to do is to meet some really, really great people. And even though Porsche is not quite luxury, like you said, it's kind of loud luxury. I think the air-cooled Porsches are quite luxury, but we meet so many real life quiet luxury people. Like we don't even realize who we're talking to until much later. Like, oh my gosh, it's this, I'm not gonna name them here. So you end up meeting and um, talking to these people and getting to know them. And then it isn't until much later that you realize like, oh my gosh, it was this person or it was that person. So that's what has been so interesting is that you meet really nice people. And you don't even know what they do, but I have seen true stealth wealth that way. Like the people, with probably the most assets, I'm gonna say. You cannot tell, like I have no idea. And they dress in a way that you would never know. Like you would never know. So when I think about stealth wealth and the whole quiet luxury thing, actually it's, I don't know how accurate that really is because if you do know people with true wealth like that, it would be a totally different aesthetic actually than what we see. I think quiet luxury is like a, I, I don't know, I wonder if quiet luxury is newer money because I don't know. Like I'm conflicted about what quiet luxury actually is anymore, but the whole association with old versus new money, I don't know if that's really a thing. It's more about, to me again, the aesthetic because true stealth wealth, who I have met and talked to and know, they don't dress anything like quiet luxury, at least the ones that I know. Let me know if you know people with like assets like that and how they dress, but they are probably the last people you're gonna guess have any kind of anything. It's just an interesting observation we made. So long story short, this, I mean, that's not the reason we do Porsche things. Like we love the car and we love the experience and the people are wonderful. Like some of our closest friends we've met through Porsche experiences, but yeah, it's not to meet people. Like that's not the point. That's totally the opposite of the point of doing this. It's you've got to love the cars. You've got to have a passion for it. And my husband definitely does. And I just kind of go along for the ride and enjoy everything about it. And so I'm actually thinking like, hmm, do I need to get a Porsche? Maybe one day. Then we've got this, which is makeup finally. And I was influenced by you on this one. Now it's not a new product. So we've got them here, but you reminded me that you use a couple of different shades in the Clay de Peau concealers. And this was a promo and I always post when I'm purchasing on promo because I wanna share that with you that I don't purchase everything full price when I don't have to. Um, I just think it's smart to wait until a promo uh, instead of buying something full price unless you really, really need it. So I plan ahead, I wait, I kind of anticipate when I'll need something. And then if I see a sale pop up, then I definitely will take advantage of that. So we've got two shades here, Clay de Peau Concealer. I think my video on the Clay de Peau, will I buy it? Will have gone up by now, so I'm really interested in those eyeshadow quads. But we've got here Honey and Ochre, nope. That's not ogre. Honey and mocha. I don't know what I'm talking about. Honey and mocha. There is a shade that I'm really curious about, but the swatches, I have to say, are not good for Clay de Peau. I don't know why. They're just not good. And I kept looking and looking. Oh, I think it was buff maybe. But then I think it's deeper. I don't know. I'm very confused. Um, I need to go to a counter. But this is honey because it's got a warmth to it. And then this is mocha, which is a little cooler. So sometimes the mocha is too cool for me. It actually looks lighter, doesn't it? And then this is honey. I'll swatch them for you in a bit, but I wanna, of course, take some pictures of them. Um, so I'll probably post on Instagram the swatches of mocha and honey. But this is one of my most frequently, one of my most frequently repurchased items. And this is the, the latest edition because you can see, I mean, it wasn't like yesterday that they did this, but you can tell because it's got this wider band here, SPF 27, and it's got brightening, elements in there that help, which makes sense for dark spots. You wanna work on them while this is on your skin. So I thought maybe I'll just start carrying one in my bag. And thank you again for influencing me on this one. It definitely reminded me that I should probably pick up two of these. Okay, and then I have a hard time telling what's new with Sizzly. I know I saw something go by that their eyeliners were new, but I didn't know if all the eyeliners were new. Anyway, I picked up an eyeliner because I've been loving gray eyeliner, so I picked one up by Sisley. And this is the All Day Long Liner. I feel like I've had something in like a greenish tone, which I really liked, but this is matte and it's gray. Ooh, it really is like lighter gray tone. So now, oh, I don't know what I do with my mirror. Now I wanna try it just to see how it would look because it looks like, 
it's not as intense as um, Ash or uh, so Ash by Victoria Beckham is quite deep but this is like almost like a bluish gray that might be really pretty. So I'll try that on in a video for you. And then, and then I do like the um, Phytoactive, I can never remember the name, the one from Chantecai. That's like a toner, but it's not a toner. <laughs> I love that, but I'm waiting for a promo on that, which keep an eye out because usually something is coming around like next month. So just keep an eye out. I will of course post something about that, but this is a brightening toner by Vita C. I was just looking on the um, Saks website. So this is the Vita C Asorbic Acid Brightening Toner. Toner reformulated, not form reformulated, a toner formulated with vitamin C, 99% purity, and PHA phyto hydroxy acids, which helps remove dead skin cells for a smoother and translucent complexion. So I thought I'd try this made in Korea. Okay, so it's Korean skincare, which you know, is usually quite excellent. And so this is what it looks like. So if I just see, I'll keep you updated on this because you know I like any brightening things. Here, spot correcting, yeah, spot correcting. I need that spot correcting. I know, all the suspense for the bag, but I got this. Okay, so you know I love the Monos backpack. In fact, I've given one to one of my stepdaughters. I've given one to another family member. I have one myself. But I noticed they updated the pocket in the front. So I did want to try that and I want to try a different color. This is the Metro backpack. So I got it in a different shade. So I'm gonna give the other one, as my other stepdaughter if she wanted. So I'm gonna give my other one to her because it's in really good shape. Like it's traveled all over the world and it still looks really good. This is an, ooh, I like this shade. It's very, um, it's got more color than I thought it would because I thought it was gonna be more like a white shade. I can't remember the name of this shade. I'll list it below. But it's like the one, I thought it was gonna be actually more like a white shade or like, I don't know, or like a grayish white, but it's more like a dove shade. Ooh, isn't that pretty? And this is the different part, not the different part, but it's a different, oh, it feels a little bit more like um, velvety than the other one. So if you had the other one, it had like four little dots on the back and it snapped on. Um, so if you overstuff this one, it has the potential to fall off, which it did in Naples for me. I was walking and thank goodness there was a very nice lady behind me because it could have been going really fast. It fell off and I didn't even notice. She said, excuse me, your bag fell off. Like this part fell off of the backpack. So just be careful not to overstuff it um, because it can be an issue. But this now, they have this where you lift it and then it's like a little flap and it hooks on so it goes over or into this. So even if it becomes detached, it's not gonna fall off like the other one did. So I did wanna upgrade because I can see myself just walking away and whatever is in here being on the ground and I never see it again. So this one goes through here like this and then pull it through and then it snaps. So it still has that function and the release is like this, but even if this comes undone, like it's not falling on the ground. So we have some travel um, coming up. So we're gonna see the grandbaby and some other family and visit the farm. So we're doing that. And then we're celebrating my dad's 80th birthday. So we're gonna travel for that too. It's got this on the back. This I love because I'll roll up like a little um, scarf or blanket and it sits right here so that I can maximize what's inside. This main compartment unzips all the way to down here. This is not sponsored by Monos. You can see in here how far it unzips. So you can see it's got pockets here. You could put your laptop in there. It's got a zip. It has, um, I think for shoes, I wouldn't put my shoes in there though. I personally wouldn't put my shoes in with everything else. And then there's another pocket here. So it's a nice size. It's like perfect for all my carry-ons. My Dyson Airwrap fits in here. Finally, we're gonna open that bag. Ooh, okay, so this is the bag I showed on the community tab. And I saw it because a friend I was with was wearing it. This is so cute. I love the color because I wasn't sure of the color. It was really hard to tell. It looked kind of 
green. If you look at the images, it looked kind of green. I saw this bag on their Instagram and I thought, okay, I wanna get a better look at it because I couldn't tell from the pictures, like what was going on with the color. And so then the owner reached out to me because I said, oh, I ordered this, I'm so excited to get it. Her name is Christina and it says that, and I did pay for this myself, this is not sponsored, but I do love to shout out, especially smaller companies where they really take pride in their craftsmanship, craftsmanship, I can never say that word, craftsmanship and quality. And this is a, team of 15 people they do everything in-house so if you want to support a smaller company they are based in let's see union city new jersey so made in the usa it's italian buffalo cowhide it's buttery and durable and that's what i noticed about the bag it was buttery and durable because i don't think i told the story but it's because we had dinner with friends and immediately before she could even sit down i said what is that bag that you have because i love it so it was a version of this bag and that's when i went and i said give me a tour of the bag. She showed me the bag. I got to touch it. It really is so, you know, it reminds me of like, if you ever go to um, look for upholstery for really nice furniture and they have those samples, they're pretty thick. Uh, that's what this reminds me of, like that kind of thick, you can see here that thick upholstery kind of leather. That's what it feels like, really soft, like high end leather that you can have put on your furniture. That's what it reminds me of. And so I'm happy to support a company like that as well. So if you like a bag with zero logo on the exterior, this is beautiful. I don't see any logoing here. Let me take you on a little tour of it. So this is what I got in lieu of, not in lieu of, while well, I'm still thinking about the Laura Piana Bale bag, but also there's a Hermes Picotine bag that I'm looking at, still considering those. Those are not rolled out. But I thought this will give me a good idea of like, will I use this bag? And something that I can kind of just like use really casually. This is called the Taya bag. It has a strap that you can wear across body if you like. You can see the brass here. You've got two handles, which you can put through like this, or you can hold it like this. It is a little bit smaller than I was expecting though. I have to say, I thought it was gonna be a little bigger because I think my friend had one. It must have been a different style or an older style, but it was similar, but hers actually was open. So maybe she had more of a tote, I'm not sure. This one though has a zipper, which I like. So my mom always instilled in me like, make sure your bag is secure. It doesn't have a zipper like that is her make or break if she's gonna buy a bag. If it doesn't have a zipper, she's not getting it. So I kind of have that still in my mind. I'll still buy things where it's open, but this is the zipper. So some of you are asking like, what is the zipper situation like? It looks like this. So here's my hand in here. So you are gonna be able to get everything in there without your hand getting caught on the zipper. Um, but it's not like open like a tote bag is open. So for those of you who like a zipper, here's your logo. That's it, it's on the inside here. And then inside there's a, pocket in there. Here's the shape and then it kind of collapses like this. And that's how it goes, just like this. So I'm gonna show this to you. I'm gonna style it with some of my new my new um, wardrobe here and then we'll take a look. Okay, so let's do some try on and then I think that'll be the end of this video. It's gonna be a really long video. So I've got on here my amazing Celine sunglasses. I've got my Eric Javits hat on. I'm gonna show you the Reformation skirt with Laura Piana sandals and my new bag as well as Reformation top. And then I have on top this silk shirt. It's probably been my most worn shirt most ever I feel like I need another one I don't know if they make this anymore but I'll see if I can find one that's similar because I like the pockets and when you see it you'll get a chance to see what it looks like okay so this time I just have on my Celine glasses again Eric Javits hat same um, same whoa, <laughs> same silk top Reformation uh, shell here the Reformation skirt and then I put on my Laura Piana shoes and Laura Piana bag I've now got on the same hat, same sunglasses, and this time I have on the cardigan, the uh, cocoon cardigan that I got two of. On the cropped Reformation pants, I wanna show you how they look right out of the wash, because I washed them in cold water, and then I just uh, put them on a hanger to dry, and I haven't even steamed them, so I wanna show you what they look like and how easy they are to care for, and I have on this bag again. Eric Javits hat. Oh my gosh. Okay. Eric Javits hat, Zara top, uh, Reformation pants, Laura Piana sandals, and then my new bag. 
Okay, I've taken off my hat and I think I have everything else the same. So I've got the uh, Celine sunglasses, Reformation shirt. I have on my Joseph jacket that I love so much. And I remembered my Todd shoes, so I put those on. And I still have the slacks on from Reformation as well as a little bag by um, Jay McLaughlin. We've got on a Chanel jacket here, Chanel bag. And then we got my Hermes heels on, so I just wanna show how versatile these, actually these two pieces are really versatile. That goes with anything. So this time I have on the Willow blouse and then my Joseph pants. And I have on my Lorpiana sandals, this bag, and then my hat. Hotness. Okay. That's pretty funny. Bloopers. And then I like when the willow blouse is tucked partially into the Mitchell jeans that I have by Neely Loton. I love the denim. They look great rolled up one time, so I had a question about if they're really long. They are on the long side. They look great with heels, so that's what makes them versatile. But they also look really cute just rolled one time. I have on here the Frank and Eileen dress, which is a cotton ball, so it's more sheer. But underneath the Intimacy Me tank I talked about, actually I had it on in every outfit so far. They also have other non-sheer fabrics like denims, if you like this cut, but you can also see how long it is on me. I love it, I've been wearing it nonstop. Easy to wash, easy to just hang dry. And I have it on with my porcelains, my Laura Piana belt. That is it for today's video, so please take care of each other, stay well if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.